Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is NVIDIA Grid on VMware Part 6. Install the NVIDIA Grid drivers. So in the last video we installed Windows 10 on this machine and you'll see I've installed some applications there on the desktop as well. But if we look in Device Manager you'll see we're using a, Microsoft, uh, a VMware SVGA 3D and a basic graphics ad adapter from a Windows point of view because there is a K2 grid card in there but it doesn't know what to do with it. So I've downloaded the drivers for the NVIDIA uh, K1 and K2, it's the same driver which is why it says K1 on screen and we're going to use the one for Windows 10 and Server 2016. So that's the 64-bit driver for Windows 10 and Server 2016, it's the same driver for both and we're just going to run that installation. And once it's unpacked the files, we get to the installation options. I'm going to pick custom just so you can see the options here. There's a driver, there's a WMI provider, and a very basic utility called NView. And once it's installed all those, we'll click on restart. Now the box is restarting. Booting into Windows. We'll just wait for the desktop. We'll just wait for the desktop. And we'll just wait for the desktop. We don't appear to have any kind of desktop. So let's come out of the web console and go into the remote console and wait for the desktop. And again, we still don't have any kind of desktop. So if you remember the previous video, we said that once we installed this driver, we're going to lose ability to connect on web interface and remote console because we're now using the physical card. So now, if you remember, we have to connect through terminal services. So we're using a remote desktop connection because the web viewer and the remote console viewer rely on that um, VMware net, um, software graphics card, which has now been, dis uh, well, not disabled, but it's been replaced with the NVIDIA Grid K2, so we now have to use Remote Desktop to connect to it. So you can see the Remote Display Adapter, which is part of just Terminal Services, the, the older Super VGA driver, which is software, and actually let's we may as well disable that VMware SVGA driver now because we're not using it, we're using the, the actual original OEM NVIDIA Grid driver accessing the card directly. So we've now installed the NVIDIA grid drivers as part of the uh, grid on VMware Part 6. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.